something's wrong here and it's glitching. I don't know why. Hello there everyone! Welcome to another episode of Star Stable Online Gameplay. And today we're not going to be doing any quests actually. We're going to be doing something else instead. We're going to be buying a new horse! Finally! Yes, a new horse! And we are going to be buying a Shire. I know I need to buy the Icelandic and I still need to buy an Arabian too. And um, I think those are the only ones I really need. I don't know. But uh, for this episode we are going to be buying a Shire. We're going to be buying the one that's right behind me. The black and white uh, Pinto paint Shire. Yes, we're going to be buying that one. So I'm really excited about that and we might also buy the lead horse function because I have not bought that yet either and I will try that out with the uh, new Shire and stuff. So yeah, it's going to be fun, fun, fun. So if you haven't been over to this area or seen the new horses that are over here, they are so cute. I need, oh, the thoroughbred. I knew I was missing one. The thoroughbred is the other horse that I uh, need to get. And I'm really leaning towards this flea bitten one. He's super cute. So I really like that one. This Bay Arabian is actually really pretty too. Even though it is an older model, it is still, still really pretty. And then we also have this very white um, albino, uh, Perlano, or I don't know. This white albino horse, uh, thoroughbred, really pretty. And they also have the chestnut one, which I also really like. The chestnut is really pretty. And I also like the um, seal bay one here with the little dapples going on. This one is super cute too, and I like the face, the marking on his face is really pretty. So I'm really digging him too, so it's hard to choose on the thoroughbreds. Also, this Morgan is pretty. Pretty, um, uh, Buckskin Morgan. I need, I need to get another Morgan too because I really like those ones. But this is the one we are getting. Ho ho ho! It's the beautiful Shire. And I am going to make this one a girl I believe because I do not have that many girl horses. So this one will be a mare. And oh the paint, the markings on it are super great. I'm glad they did not do the um, classic mirroring, mirroring of both sides like they do on the starter horse here same pattern on the same sides. I really hate that. But they do not have that. On this big beauty, her spots are not like that. They are different on both sides, which is awesome. And yes, in a size comparison here, you can see this is the starter horse, which is probably the most average sized one. I know the Morgans are a little bit smaller and the ponies are definitely smaller. The Frisians are bigger and so on, but here's a little size comparison for you of the two so the Shire is quite a bit bigger than the Starter Horse. Quite a bit bigger and they have fluffier feet. Fluffy feet, fluffy mane and tail. Super cute. So we are going to buy this girl and name her and I have no idea what name we're going to name her so we got to figure that out right now too. Alright here she is at the Breed Shire. Alright and yes we do have enough Star Coins which is always wonderful. And they have five strength, two discipline, and one endurance. All right, now let's go ahead and buy this horse and name her. I have no idea what I'm gonna name her, so we're gonna figure that out. So after a little bit of thought here, I think I'm going to name her Moon Pearl, which uh, we're in the Crescent Moon Village. And she kind of looks like a moon, like white with the spots, which could be like craters in the moon. I don't know, I think Moon Pearl is really pretty, so I'm going to call her Moon Pearl. Now we buy her! Congratulations on your new horse! Yay! Now we get to go back to Moreland, which is currently in my home, st home stable, and we are going to go and check her out and ride her and have a lot of fun! Alright, we're back at the home stable, and I see her in the stall over there. Ooh, I can't wait to pull her out. She is huge! Look how big she looks even just next to um, my one horse Bucky over here. Oh, she is beautiful! Why is it not letting me get closer to her for some reason? There's some sort of weird problem going on there. Woo! Not there! Get me out of her butt! Something's wrong here and it's glitching. I don't know why. Um, we are stuck. Hold on. There we go. I don't know why it's being kind of glitchy. Being a little glitchy glitch. But we'll go ahead and get on her and move her out of the way so we can get better look at her. Oh my goodness, she's ginormous. She is ginormous. Hold on, let me put the, um, get all the other horses. 
rearranged real quickly. Whoops, not that. There we go. All right, so everyone's in the in their spots. Oh my goodness, she is gigantic. I'm really glad I picked her though out of all the Shires. I really like her. I know the other Shire colors are really pretty too. It's hard to choose, but I like her color a lot. She is super pretty. She just towers over my fjord. Towering over him. No, oh, it's so pretty. Oh, and yes, the um, North Swedish horse or the Gypsy Banner one, she towers over him too. You are a big girl, Miss Moon Pearl, but you are beautiful. Oh, look at you and um, my other horsey, Adam, my Frisian. You tower over him too, look at that. But you two look cute together, actually. They look super cute together. Kind of like a yin and a yang thing going on there. So adorable. Now we need to see next to my little pony. She is just gigantic next to him. Oh, you're so tiny next to her. Look at you guys. Such a big size comparison there. So that is super awesome. She is super awesome. I need to go ahead and grab a bridle so we can uh, try out the lead horse function next and also just kind of ride her around and check out all her gates. Her gates, gates, bleh. <laughs> check out all her gates and stuff. So I will go ahead and um, get a bridle on her real quickly and then we will do that. Okay, and I just remembered I have to go find one of the lead horse locations, but while we are heading there, I believe there's one in the Silver Grade. I know there's one in Fort Pinto, but I don't really want to go over back over to Fort Pinto right now. But we will check her out, out our, check out all our gains and stuff. So we have the walk here. Oh, there, there's a stop. There's the walk. Let me hide the interface. Woo, come on, mouse. Things are not going perfectly. There we go. There we go. So there is her walk. Very, very cool. We'll go ahead up to the trot. We're just so tiny on her. We're actually kind of sitting a little far back on her um, back too, if you want to talk correct horse position. We're sitting kind of in the middle of her back instead of forward a little more, but that's okay. So there's a little trot. Super cute. And then we'll bring her up to the canta, which is also very awesome. Very, very cool. And then uh, we'll bring her up to the, it says the hand gallop, I guess. The hand gallop. Super cool. I love how the um, tail moves about in her mane and the forelock. I like all the movement going on. It's very pretty. And then is that the fastest one? Or is the second fastest? I don't know. I don't have my thing up, so I can't tell. But here's the fastest Ingo. Very cool, very cool. And I guess we'll check out the jump, which is also adorable. I like the little tail swish, kind of like the Morgan does. Whee! And then we should probably also do a rear. Or there's a sliding stop. Sliding stop. And then a rear. Yay! New horse! Oh, she is so awesome. I am totally digging her. I really, really like her. Woo! She's so pretty. Very, very fun and pretty. Whoa! Didn't mean to go up there. So I'm very, very happy with her, and you will definitely expect to see her in all of my um, next episodes of Star Stable. She will be in all of them. Oh, I forgot about the mane and tail. We should probably check that out real quickly while we're here. I don't believe I'll be changing it because I really like her mane and tail as they are right now, but I will check it out just to see what they look like. So that is the braided version, which does look pretty cool. The mane is very, um, ooh. The mane is, looks really pretty neat like that, but ooh, you can see all our little um, extra spots on there, but not digging it too much. Like I said, I'm probably just going to keep it, but we'll see what these other ones look like. Just that one and that one. Nothing too fancy, but um, yeah, I'm definitely going to keep her just like she is. I love her. She is so pretty. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and see if that lead horse function is here. I'm hoping it is, it might not be. It very well might not be here because I don't know where they have it at. If it's not here, then we will ride over to um, Fort Pinta then and just uh, check it out. 
Yeah, I'm not seeing it here. I thought there was one here, but apparently not. Oh, I actually do know where there's one. There is one. There is one at the, um, what is it called? Whoa, uh, the, uh, choo choo this place. Marley's place. Is it Marley's farm? Marley's place? I believe there is one there, so we will go there right now. Aha, I was right. There is one here. I thought there was one here. Okay, so here is the horse trainer, and so to do the lead horse thing, I think all we have to do is pay for it here then. Learn how to lead your horse. Hi, for a fee, I can teach you how to lead your horse. Alright, ooh, I did not know it was that much. I kind of thought it was more like 95 star coins. But I guess we're going to do it anyway, because why not? Even though I kind of don't want to pay it, because it's kind of expensive, but we will go ahead and do it. Congratulations, you can now lead your horse. Awesome, awesome. Now let's go ahead and do that. I believe all you have to do is get down next to them. And then, oh, there goes the little um, thing pops up. There we go, awesome. So now we just walk around with our horse. Turn the interface off again. Oh, look at her grazing, that is so cute. I forgot to see what that animation looked like. Oh, she's adorable. Come on, Moon Pearl. Follow me, girl. Oh, that is so cool. This is very, very cool. I actually do like this feature, even though there's not a whole lot to it. It is nice if you need to move your horse just like a couple steps and you don't want to get back on and off again. So I think that is pretty helpful and cool. Oh, and you can just get right on them too from that way, so you don't have to um, uh, undo the horse lead function to get back on them. Unfortunately, you cannot run, which kind of sucks. I do think they should add it so that you can run with your horse and your horse will trot with you. I think that is a good idea of a feature to do. Every time I stop, she wants to graze right away. This is so cute. You do not need to eat more food, Missy. You are already gigantic. Yes, you are. <laughs> yep, and there you can just go right back on. So that is really cool. Really cool little feature we now have. Um, probably won't be using it a whole lot, but fun to have it anyway. And this big beautiful girl is just awesome. I really, really like her. I, I like her a lot more even than I thought I was going to. She is gorgeous. Super gorgeous. So I guess that is all for this episode. We will be doing more um, quests and stuff in later episodes with this big beautiful girl, Moon Pearl. So um, I hope you guys um, enjoyed this episode. And I will see you in the next one, and we'll do a little rear just for, um, just for no reason, just for fun. Yay! See you later, guys!